This is a brief overview of the new headset features that have been added to Call Manager 12.5 SU1 as well as Call Manager 11.5 SU7. And what we've done is we have a new flyout when we click headset, we see headset template, headset inventory, and headset inventory summary. So I'm choosing headset inventory summary, and as you can see, I can see all of my headsets in my environment. I can see that there are several Cisco 500 series headsets here, the 520, 530, 560, and I can also see the new 730 series, which is our premium Bluetooth headset, and then I can also see non-Cisco headsets. So this is very important because I can inventory non-Cisco headsets. By simply clicking one of these little hyperlinks here, it'll jump specifically into that inventory or I can choose to view inventory by status. You can see that these are listed as active, meaning that they've been seen in the last 30 days. These are inactive, which means that they are offline and the system hasn't detected them in the last 30 days. So perhaps we can reallocate those to another user and then unassigned. So perhaps the headset was plugged into a lobby phone or something. So this is the inventory but I can go and do a deep dive of the entire inventory database. And this can, of course, scale into the tens of thousands, just like our normal phones can on Call Manager. And so here we see everything. And I can see, starting from the left, the serial number. The serial number can be thought of as the new MAC address for managing headsets, the model number, the vendor, whether it's wired or wireless, the firmware. I can also see the user, right? So these are the list of users that are automatically correlated to these headsets. We can also see the template. We'll talk about that in a second. I can see the status. So we're seeing this particular headset on the top is being connected. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. And then I'll refresh the page. And you can see that it is disconnected. I'll now plug this back in. We'll give it a second or two. I'll click refresh and we can see that this is connected. So these status updates are sent to Call Manager in real time. I can also see the device name, the device model, the software version, and how long the system has known about it. And then if I scroll down, you can see that we're showing third-party headsets. So all the third-party headsets in my environment are shown as well as the end user as well as whether or not it is connected or disconnected. So how is it that we can do this? We can do this because these devices are plugged into Cisco equipment and the Cisco equipment in turn relays that to the infrastructure. Last but not least, we have our template. So if I go to the template, this allows me to do things such as push firmware out, but I can do so in a controlled fashion, right? So here you can see we have all of these templates. So down here at the bottom, I have a group of users where I want their headset upgraded. And then I have another group of users here where I don't want their headset upgraded. And then what we have the ability to do is if I just click on this, we can standardize on configuration settings for a group of users. You know, perhaps I want their, their microphone gain at a certain level. Maybe I want their side tone off. Maybe I want their equalizer set to the highest. Perhaps we want their bandwidth to be narrow band. If it is a deck deployment, you know, we can go ahead and change the audio range to increase the density. We can also change the firmware source. Do we want to allow upgrades from the cloud or only from call manager? So these are the type of things that you can do with a template and it's very easy to correlate users to these profiles, right? You can create one profile per user, or you can create groups of profiles and put the users in there accordingly. The only requirement that I have to do on Call Manager 12.5 SU1 is simply go to service activation. And here we will see a brand new service called the Cisco Headset Service. And you need to activate that on the publisher and the subscribers. And that's it. Call Manager effectively does the rest. The only other requirement is on your endpoints. On your phones, you need 12.51 SR3 
and on Jabber you will need 12.6. Let's switch gears and talk about some of the troubleshooting enhancements that we have done in Call Manager 12.5 SU1 to support headsets. So in the past, if you needed to troubleshoot a problem, you would basically on your phone go to the settings to phone information. You then would select problem report. You then would select a problem description. And then finally, you would select a uh, detailed description or you would type in some preform text at the bottom and then so click select. And the problem with this is that it requires the end user to take all of this action, which is not very convenient when you're trying to troubleshoot a headset problem, right? So what we have done is in Call Manager 12.5 SU1 is the ability to take all of this information and have the administrator generate it remotely. So all I need to do is basically click this generate PRT for selected. I select my phones, one or more phones, so I can select these both. And then I just click this and it automatically collects that information without me having to bother the end user. The only requirement is that you simply uh, populate this customer support upload URL on the common phone profile or on the individual phone. And then this will deposit the PRT on a web server that you have set up to receive HTTP post. We also now support the ability to have headset metrics sent to the CDR or CMR database in Call Manager 12.5 SU1. In addition, the real-time monitoring tool can receive detailed data for troubleshooting. So for example, in this uh, SDL trace, we can actually see where it says headset statistics. And if we scroll over, we can actually see a bunch of information regarding uh, the receive signal strength indication. We can see whether there was a call fail, beacon moves, which is related to wireless. We can also see uh, mute information, call drops, CRCs, power level change, etc. So basically a wealth of information is now pouring in to call manager for the purposes of troubleshooting. Thank you.